Hello, I'm a vocable object four, and let's continue. What I'll do is basically in between each one. Uh, yeah, the thing is. Did I not finish? Ah, twisted loyalty. Oops. Okay. Badara. But yeah. At in between each one, uh which will probably be around four minutes, I'll uh stop recording and then I'll put it all together. So let's see how this works. Huh. Not much of an editor. But I suppose it's about time I started. do damage. Um, yeah, that's a lot more powerful than I thought she was going to be. Darn. I'm going to be starting off stuff needing to heal immediately. Um, let's see. Let's see what kind of healing I can do. What do you do? Shot bash and spell. Hmm. Okay, let's see, let's see here, let's see. You gotta wanna be healed up. There's no gang around it. So. First move. Nice and healed up. Okay. Let's. Ow. Shatter. All right. All right. All right. So let's see. I don't have enough spell and bash heroes to do any of that kind of stuff. Alright, let's give this a shot. Let's see how much damage you will take. Blade Bloom! Uh, that hat's always fun to say. And I knocked him out! Awesome! Okay. Cool. So, I'll stop this video here and start the cutscene. Yeah, that should be how it is. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, cool. Got some stuff from it. 
Ew. Oh, yeah. There's the... Uh, uh... An event going on where I get stuff. <laughs> it was clear that we had managed to dull his relic in the head starts. This is our chance to turn things around. Crescent Ice. Achoo! Lion Stance. Badara thrust his shield in the path of the art. But this time, there's no surge of power. Huh? I can see a glint of stunned surprise through the eye slits in his helm. The first volley of ice blades thud into his shield, smacking it out of his hands. The second wave snaps his outstretched lance and wipes the magic glyph off the chest plate of his armor. Ugh! The magical light that had infused his armor rapidly dissipates, and then... Cthud. <laughs> Badara crumbles to the floor. It appears we've won. He's lost consciousness. He must have expended too much magical energy. Once we cut off his external energy supply, Badara must have begun using his own internal magic energy to fuel his relics. Such powerful armaments consume a great deal of magical energy. I'm impressed that he was able to maintain them for as long as he did. Such a powerful foe, and this was only the first stratum. Well, somehow we did it. The way forward is clear. Choo! Forward. Indeed it is, Lady Sarah. As long as we stick to our plan, victory remains within our grasp. The lessons we've learned in this battle should prove valuable in the challenges ahead, bringing us still closer to our ultimate triumph. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, now we know that, I mean, he was able to absorb the energy around this place, so our opponent, this will help. The victory will certainly provide a boost to our morale as we proceed deeper into the stronghold. And it does bring us one step closer to achieving our goal. Just as Lippy's seal of detention won this fight, Sarah and I will soon need to perform great feats of our own. We'll need to gather power from the battles ahead, so that we can draw upon it when we reach the heart of the... What in the world? When we reach the heart of the stronghold. That should have a space. Okay, guys. Onward! To victory! Yeah, indeed. From within my murky consciousness, I hear the sound of footsteps fading away into the distance. I've been beaten? I pushed myself too far? My ears won't open. I mean, my eyes won't open. My ears are ringing. I can't stay awake.
But... Oh, don't get I? But I can't die yet. I have to restore equality. I have to do right by her. I have to go back to her. Give myself back to her. Give her back my heart. Ah, so here you are, Badara. You're high. No. The Greta? I can't see her. I can't hear her. But I know that she's here. I can sense her, right beside me. I just wanted to, to see you smile again. I don't know if she spoke the words. My ears couldn't hear them anyway, but I could feel them in my heart. I don't care if it breaks the deal I made with guys. I'm here to carry you on your way. No. Degreta, I'll escort you. Your crimes will be judged. Fair punishments will be determined. And I will deliver you to each one personally. Fair enough. Greta, I just wanted. Sleep now, Badara. I'm sorry. I wish I could have seen it with you one more time. All of us together, watching the sunset from the hill near the town, one last time. Woohoo! Let's start the next thing! All right. Okay. You've passed through the first stratum and into the second. I can sense your souls drawing steadily closer. They call you the great savior, right? And you should run. Run like you ran that day so long ago. Run through the twisted maze to fight the monster that must be slain. We run through the twisted underground tunnels in search of the man who must be saved. The Great Savior. I've never been comfortable with that moniker, but today I hope to finally live up to it. We cut through ruinators and enemy soldiers, finally arriving at the door at the heart of the second stratum. We stop, taking a moment to catch our breath as we study the towering door. The stairway to the third stratum lies beyond this door. This time, we feel no hint of malice behind it. Nevertheless, a foe awaits us inside. Of that we can be certain. Gladicus, are you ready for this? I nod my assessment. Or ascent. Eh. Never heard that word. Ascent. Hmm. Opening the door, I begin the first to engage whatever lies. And being the first to engage whatever lies behind, it is my job. Um. Sorry about that. Some random call. Ugh. I do it because I'm the only one who can, and because there's a power that I must master to achieve our goal. Get ready, I'm opening it. I grab the door's handle and throw my weight into it, pushing it open.
The room beyond appears to be empty. But I remain on guard, taking only a single wary step inside. Just then, I hear the sound of snapping fingers. It is a First, an illusion. Hello! Exclamation point. Suddenly, the air above me is full of floating playing cards. Showtime. It's showtime. As a nefarious voice echoes through the room, the cards fly into a frenzy, slicing through the air towards me. <laughs> Gladicus! What do you think? Are you surprised? Well, have we fought you? Hmm. I call it my burst shuffle. Impressive, it, impressive, is it not? Shinada. Oh, Shinada. Ah. Do I sense a note of concern in your voice? You must be thinking of the other Shinada locked inside me. You won't be seeing him again. This card has turned to its flip side and won't be turning over again. I figured if my goal was to have your heads, the truly demented side of me would have to be the better fit for the task. Eh, fair enough. And to be clear, that's no metaphor. This is game over for you. The only question is, who does first? And the answer is, you. When the smoke from the explosion clears, Shinada looks legitimately puzzled to see me standing there, unarmed. Unharmed. I hope I'm armed. Other words, uh, I'm a, a bit slow. What trickery is this? It was pretty clear they hadn't expected me to survive. His confused eyes travel the length of my body, searching for clues. I meet his own gaze head-on with my own. <clears throat> uh, that little trick was actually supposed to have blown you to pieces. Uh, this is quite embarrassing. <sighs> Only two or three of the cards seem to have hit you. How did you avoid the others? It was thanks to that power, the one I still need to master, but I wasn't going to tell him that. Yeah, fair enough. Ha! Ah, that's odd. Maybe you should try hitting me with them again. I need to keep practicing until I can do it flawlessly. I'm not the sort to taunt my foes, but time is in short supply, and this was a technique I could only practice in live combat. I stepped back into my defensive posture. So smug. Seems like you have some tricks of your own. Well, whatever. Then let us show each other all of our best tricks. This battlefield is my sage, but I'll let you be in my show. Though I warn you, the ending won't be a happy one. Oh, will it be like Hamlet or Oedipus Rex? Fine with me. Me too! 
I shall do my part. <laughs> then welcome, one and all, to the stage of tricks and tragedy. It's a pleasure to be your host for this evening. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Okay, this will be the final piece of the puzzle for these segments. Yeah. Which in the last segment, I actually cut it off mid sentence. Huh. That's awkward. Uh. We'll see how it sounds. Maybe it'll sound wonderful and magical with awesome brilliance or whatever. Okay, let's see. Oh. <laughs> okay. Man. Let's see. That's what we got. And last but not least, the boss. Oh, not the boss yet. Boss later. Eh, I need a heal now. I shouldn't <laughs> risk it. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to heal myself the next turn. Now I gotta get myself back up to... 25... All right, time to heal up. Nice and healthy. All right. He's almost down. And with this, he's dead. Lovely. Right. <sighs> Let's see. It is 10 30. Mm. Hero stones collected, and other stuff also gotten. So, this is the end of this episode. I'll see you guys in the next episode of. Tales of Link, I guess, in a way, or Ned's part. And then also today, we gotta get the third opening to Future Diary done. So that'll, that'll be that. Monday, I'll go for the uh, opening of the second opening for Black Butler. And yeah, that'll be it. So, so we got lovely stuff 
that's it's probably gonna be happening in like an hour. <laughs> so, see you guys in the next episode. Bye!